Hey everybody, it's Tony from Adafruit, and this is a little bit of an off-the-cuff kind of uh, stream that I wanted to do. So I'm going to PyCon, the annual Python programming convention. It's actually uh, started already, but I'll be down there tomorrow through Wednesday when they do all the talks. Uh, and at every PyCon, they have these things called lightning talks that are like five-minute, somewhat planned, somewhat unplanned uh, talks where uh, people can just sign up when they get there and just do a quick little, sometimes impromptu, sometimes planned out talk. Uh, and so I thought for PyCon this year, I'd like to do a little five minute lightning talk uh, just on how to do some basic hardware with uh, Python. So I'll show a couple of neat examples. And I figured, what the heck, you know, if I put together a talk, I might as well practice it, streaming it live over the internet, because if you can do it over the internet to hundreds, thousands of people, then uh, you can do it in a conference room with uh, a few people. So that's what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm going to run through this little talk. It's only five minutes, uh, hopefully only five minutes. So, um, you know, I'm, part of the reason I'm doing this is I want to see how much time it takes to, uh, to do the talk and make sure that we're all good here. Uh, time-wise for it. So uh, I'm hoping to do two demos. So basically I'm going to show how to control uh, on my jacket here. I have Circuit Playground uh, right here. And then uh, this is the ESP8266 Feather Huzzah with the NeoPixel wing attached to it. And so I'm going to show a couple neat ways to control stuff with uh, Python on this board. And it's a little hard because I'm sitting down here, so I'm going to have to back up a little bit. Uh, hopefully the sound and stuff is coming across. Uh, you know, I'll probably be standing when I'm doing this, so it might be a little easier. And hey, what the heck, I figured I'd use the members-only jacket uh, to make this work too. So let's see, let's switch to the main kind of view here. Actually, no, I don't need that. Let's do that, and let's do that. So, okay, cool. So there's there's no uh, side camera shot here. Well, here, I guess I'll just turn it on for completeness. Uh, so you can see there's old Raspberry Pi stuff uh, up there. But so here's the talk that I wanted to do. So I'm gonna, I'll start a timer because I just wanna, like I said, uh, this needs to be five minutes long and doing demos can be a little bit dicey. So uh, that's mostly why I wanted to do this stream to make sure I can fit everything into uh, the time allotted here. So, okay, I'll see if I can kind of scooch back and it looks like hopefully the volume levels are okay. I got the mic, uh, maybe I'll increase the gain a little bit just in case. Uh, so, okay, let's see, how's that doing? Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit louder. So, okay, I think this will work. And uh, hopefully the focus works if, uh, if it gets in focus there. Uh, but anyways, okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'll start the timer and then I'll just go into it. I'm just gonna do a run, dry run of the talk. Um, Hopefully I don't have to do this multiple times. We'll see. I just practiced it a few times and it's, uh, you know, it's not too bad, uh, but I'm just going to try to roll with it and uh, see how it goes. So, okay. So I'll get started here in just a second. So I'll start the timer. So you might be wondering who this guy is and why he's wearing this crazy jacket with these things stuck to it. And I'm going to come back to these in a second. But let's just talk a little bit about uh, myself. So my name is Tony, and I work for a company called Adafruit Industries. And so we help make electronics accessible to everyone. We build interesting little hardware. If you've ever heard of Arduino or Raspberry Pi or some of those systems, we build a lot of hardware and teach people how to use that. Uh, and I end up writing a lot of Python code for Adafruit. So things like supporting our products on Raspberry Pi, I do a lot of code for that. And in this talk, I wanted to do a couple quick demos to show you some neat ways that you can control hardware with Python code. And so I'm gonna light up little RGB pixels. Uh, you might've seen like really neat little glowy lights. So we're gonna control those with Python code. And let's just dive right into it. I don't have much time, so I'm gonna show a couple demos and we'll just go through these. And then at the end, I'll have some links. You can find the slide deck and you can learn all kinds of details about this. Uh, but basically the first example I wanted to talk about is something called Fermata. And Fermata is a firmware and a protocol for remotely controlling a little microprocessor, like an Arduino board, for example. And so your computer can talk to your board over a serial connection and control it. So it can like read sensors connected to it, or it can control like lights that are connected to it. So I'm just 
going to dive in and do a little demo. So I have a board right here, the circular one. This is called Circuit Playground, and it's an Arduino compatible board uh, that basically has some components already connected to it. So it has little RGB LEDs, and I'll show a demo here with some Python code. So I'm going to run a Python script on my computer here, and I need to tell it the serial port of my uh, board right here. So this is the serial port. Uh, and what it's going to do is it's going to, oops, I need to actually give the uh, name of the script that I want to run here. So we'll call uh, rainbow.py. And it's going to connect to my board. So there's a little bit of setup. It's using this library called PyMata that is a Fermata implementation in Python. And after a few moments, it connects, it figures out what it's talking to. Now Python code is running on my computer, and you can see it's animating the pixels on this little board here. So it's making a neat little ra rainbow animation. And I'll show you real quickly the Python code for this. So this is the code that's running right now on my computer. And you can see there's nothing too crazy about this. It's Python code. Uh, the really important details are here, like board.setPixel and board show pixels, these functions end up talking to the board over that Fermata protocol and controlling it, basically telling it to start and stop. And sometimes, unfortunately, this cable is a little flaky, so I just accidentally pulled the cable on. That's why it stopped. Uh, but that's what's happening here. So the Python code on your computer is running and telling the board to light up the pixels in different ways. So that's pretty powerful and pretty interesting. The problem is when you disconnect the board from your computer, it shuts off and it doesn't run anymore. So your computer is the host. It means you can do anything on your computer. You can write any kind of Python script, um, but you know it has to be connected to your computer. So uh, if that sounds interesting though, there are a couple more links that I have right here. And at the end, there'll be a link to this slide deck online. You can download the slide deck and look at these links later. So I'm not gonna dwell on these, uh, but I have a, a tutorial up that tells you exactly how to build uh, the demo that I just showed with this board. Now the next example, this is something called MicroPython and the ESP8266 board. So MicroPython is a tiny little Python interpreter that can run directly on these little embedded processors. And the ESP8266 is a really nice little low cost Wi-Fi microcontroller that can run MicroPython. And so there's a great implementation of MicroPython, gives you access to hardware, all kinds of capabilities. So let's just see a quick little demo of this. I'm gonna plug in the other board right here and then we'll connect to this board. So I'm gonna open up a serial connection on my computer here. I'm gonna use the screen command and I'm gonna point it at the serial port for this board. And then I'm gonna also tell it it's 115200 baud. And I'm gonna connect, and this might look familiar. So this is actually a Python REPL, and I can actually type in Python code here. So if I say like print hello world, for example, then there's some Python code running, and that's running directly on this little CPU here. So, and this is a very tiny CPU. It just runs at 80 megahertz, has just a few kilobytes of memory. So it's pretty constrained, but the, you can still run Python on this. And I'll run a little function that I defined ahead of time uh, called Rainbow Demo. And you can see, so it's lighting up in rainbow colors. And this is pretty cool. Now the big difference with this is that the Python code is running directly on this processor. So if I unplug this, and I actually have a, a battery connected uh, behind here, you know, there's nothing on my computer that's controlling this. It's purely the code on this little board, uh, the Python code that, that's running this. So again, really interesting little way that you can use Python code directly on uh, a processor to do things like light up these little LEDs. And here's links to more info. Like I said, download the slide deck. You can check these out. MicroPython is the name of the Python implementation. Open source, awesome project, uh, very high quality, cool stuff. So if this sounds fun, you should check out twitch.tv slash Adafruit. I actually live stream cool stuff like these demos. You can watch me code this stuff up live. YouTube.com slash Adafruit. We have all kinds of fun videos and projects. And learn.adafruit.com. That's where we have all kinds of tutorials, a thousand tutorials almost up there. Uh, all kinds of things with hardware. So check it out. And thanks a lot. I'm Tony from Adafruit. So, okay, I, th I think we just squeaked it in five minutes and 15 seconds. So I, I got to go quick, uh, but I, I think it can work. I just want to kind of do two demos. I'm not going into detail. I'm not like telling people, you know, okay, here's how you build this project. Here's how you connect it. You know, I'm kind of targeting an audience of uh, Python developers who, you know, may or may not be familiar with hardware, kind of whet their appetite a little bit, uh, show them some cool stuff and then uh, point people off to links to, uh, to other things here. So um, I think this will work though. I think, you know, as long as I move really quick, I can't dwell at all. I've got to just, you know, boom, 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 get to these demos here uh, and we'll make it work here. So this will be cool. And I don't know if uh, PyCon is streaming live. So unfortunately the thing is with these lightning talks, you sign up when you get there. So there's like a block in the morning and there's a block in the afternoons. Uh, but if they do stream it live, I'll see if like we could tweet out maybe when I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm hoping to do it like maybe in the afternoon, um, either like Monday afternoon or Tuesday afternoon maybe uh, to do this talk for this. So 
Cool. So I think that's it. Uh, you know, I don't see too many questions, but uh, thanks a lot for people that are watching. I, I figured I'd just turn on the camera. You know, the best way to practice is when you've got an audience here. Uh, so that's it. So cool. So I'll end this stream. Quick little stream. Like I said, I just want to do a little demo. And uh, oh, also, so the regular streams that I do. So there won't be a stream tomorrow. Uh, you know, I usually do a Monday Raspberry Pi kind of quick look stream. And I'll be at PyCon. Uh, but like I said, a PyCon might be streaming. Uh, if it's not streaming, I might take some video of it. I don't know. At least maybe I'll do a blog post of like the cool talks that I saw there. Uh, so no stream tomorrow, but Friday next week, I'll be back and uh, we'll do uh, part two of the SQL sensor storage uh, series. So, uh, oh, someone was wondering what's my Twitter handle. My Twitter handle is T D I C O L A. T-D-I-C-O-L-A. Uh, I don't really use Twitter. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's not really something that I, that I follow too strictly, uh, but it's there. You know, you can, if you send me a message on there, I, I might be able to get to it. Uh, I think it sends to me. So, uh, but that's it. So Tony from Adafruit, thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, keep us, uh, let us know that you like this stuff and, and we'll keep doing it. So, uh, it's Tony from Adafruit. I'll see you guys later.